here with All City Real Estate coming to you with another home tour. I do apologize. I know it's been a minute since my last home tour. I took some time off for the holidays and then uh, when the new year hit, the Austin market went bonkers. So it has been a very busy first Q1 of 2021. But uh, I did find some time to come out and uh, tour this property in Round Rock, Texas. Round Rock is, uh, is located about 15, 20 minutes north of Austin. And what we are looking at here is a real estate flip by Mr. Leo Duarte. Leo is a successful Austin area real estate agent and veteran real estate flipper and he has done an amazing job with this uh, property flip now unfortunately by the time i got out to film uh, this video he had already received multiple offers um, and is already under contract but i went ahead and still filmed the the property because uh, again, he's a he's a veteran flipper, and he's already working on a couple of more projects in the Austin area. So this you know this can act like um, a a preview of the exceptional work that he does. So if you are interested in uh, investing in real estate here in the Austin area, ping me. I've got the inside scoop. I'm happy to share uh, information about his upcoming flips with you. Um. But for now, hey, let's take a look uh, at the property. You can see from the outside, beautifully done. And now we're going to walk inside and take a look at Leo's creation. So this home was actually originally built in 1999. It's a single story. It's got three bedrooms, two full baths. The total square footage is 1,957. Uh, the lot size is 0.165 acre, uh, and it's located in a subdivision called Jester Farms. The original builder uh, for this community was Continental Homes, who then sold to Milburn Homes, and and then later became Dr. Horton. Um, you know, one thing that I went back and did was I looked at the uh, photos on the MLS of when the property uh, was listed and sold previously, not not when you know Leo bought it. I believe Leo bought it off market which you know is is typical with with flips and uh, one thing that i noticed is you know kitchen is still in the same location you know all the bathrooms are it doesn't look like he came in and like you know replaced walls or added walls or you know totally rearranged uh everything um but his total cost of renovation approximately was about $85,000 um, and as you can see I mean you walk into this uh, house and it rivals any new construction property uh, he spent a ton of money in uh, totally renovating you know the kitchen and all the bathrooms and floorings and doors and you know um, really you know gave it an entirely uh, new look so uh, 
What I'm going to do now is actually read off the the remarks that that Leo put on uh, the MLS. You know, and I've done that in previous videos. Uh, then that way you can kind of hear directly from Leo. Um, you know everything that the property has to offer, or or most of it, anyways. So uh, so here goes. Gorgeous renovated home in Round Rock, close to downtown, Kalahari Resort, and plenty of shopping. This home is a showstopper. Elegantly renovated with all new kitchen and bathrooms to include cabinets, quartz countertops, recessed lighting throughout, and plumbing fixtures. All new light fixtures and each room has a ceiling fan. Great layout with living and dining areas, very open to the kitchen for family gatherings. Home offers three good sized bedrooms and a dedicated study study slash office at the entrance with plenty of natural lighting this one will not last long <laughs> and uh, he definitely uh, forecasted that one correctly because it's already under contract so all right so we're walking into the uh, study slash office uh, you'll notice that it it doesn't have a closet um, so you know it's kind of its original intent was you know some type of uh office or maybe you know uh second living area that kind of thing but you know you've got the you've got the french doors there um so uh perfect office space and um you know especially with everything that's going on with the pandemic and you know uh, a lot of folks working from home um you know this i'm sure having a dedicated office uh, was very appealing to to buyers all right so we're going to head on down to the master bedroom So very roomy, very spacious. Uh, your windows look out to the to the backyard, and um, something that's you know uh, very appealing about older homes or homes that are in older subdivisions in Central Texas, anyways, is you know you actually have a front yard and a good size front yard and a good size backyard, which you definitely have. Um, on this home so you can see I mean he totally gutted this this bathroom new tile um, you know it had originally it had a tub now it has uh, a shower a beautiful shower the tile choice is you know a lot of what you see in in new construction and um, I really love the rainfall shower head. I mean, that thing is huge. I've always wanted one of those. Uh, and then you've got the handheld um, kind of sprayer there. And, um, you know, the, the, the theme here is kind of this black and white. Um, and, you know, he did a great job with all the design choices, style choices. I mean, everything just complements, you know, uh, everything else. The shower there, big, thick glass uh, shower door. Uh, you've got the low, the new low flush toilets, dual vanity, and those sinks. Man, those sinks are great. So we're going to walk into the master closet. I was really surprised, um, you know, for a home built in 1999, um, you usually don't see master closets this big. Um, you know, I live in a home that was built in 98 and I can tell you our master closet is, I don't even know if it's half this size. So a lot of room, a lot of space. Um, 
a lot of places to, you know, um, hang your clothes or put your shoes. Uh, so pleasantly surprised with the uh, size of the master closet. Now I'm going to give you a close-up of, of the flooring. Um, you know, uh, great choice. Uh, kind of that grayish tone. Again, complements all the the black and the tile, the black and the hardware. Take a quick peep at the uh, at the HVAC there. Um, not sure if that's brand new, but it, it's definitely recent. And then we're going to pop in here to uh, to the two guest bedrooms. So again, as you, as you notice here, you know all the bedrooms have uh, have ceiling fans, and uh, now this is pretty typical with you know the, the guest bedrooms and a you know a home built you know in the 90s. You can have smaller closets. Um, all right, so we're going to look at uh, this second guest bedroom. Similar size to the uh, first one, a uh, similar size closet as well, and uh, these two also look into the to the backyard. And this here is the second. Uh, this is a guest full bath. much a mirror of the uh, of the master bath you know used all the kind of the same tile and same hardware you've got the rainfall um, shower head still kind of, you know have that uh, that cubby there um, which I thought very nice touch I love that you know in that cubby there he, he put put black tile um, that looks pretty sharp so same cabinets, um, same black hardware, yeah, same toilets. And this is the uh, attached uh, garage, two car garage. It's got a couple of steps to get down into it. Now you didn't really touch you know anything in the garage but I mean it's tape and floated um, could easily uh, paint it uh, put a nice epoxy on the uh, on the uh, concrete there uh, make it a man cave make it a workout room uh, I've said this in uh, other videos uh, rarely in, in Texas do you use your garage as a uh, place to park your car Sometimes you do, but uh, a lot of times it just ends up being uh, space to do other things. And um, so I noticed the uh, water heater uh, looked, again, uh, either brand new or, uh, you know, a very recent model. And um, we're going to take another pan of the kitchen area. Huge kitchen island. Plenty, uh, plenty of room there to uh, to eat, to eat your meals. Now, I didn't film the backyard only because you know it's the dead of winter. Uh, everything is dead back there. Um, very similar to the front of the house. All right, guys. Well, hey, if you like the tour, like what I'm doing, please give the video a like on YouTube. And I uh, would greatly appreciate it if you would uh, hit the subscribe button. Call or text me at 512-773-0148 uh, if I can help in any way. And until next time.